right, everybody. So I wanted to show you the new addition to the Moto Garage, the 1976 Kawasaki KZ400. This bike is 45 years old, and for her age, she runs pretty solid. I picked up this bike on Facebook Market. Anybody that knows the this genre of bikes would be aware of the fact that a lot of people cafe these bikes out. That's kind of what I'm going to do with it. I'm not exactly sure. I'm kind of leaning in that scrambler cafe genre. She is set up right now with dual sport tires. Taking advantage of those, I will be doing a uh, solo moto camp with this bike up coming up here soon. I do have street tires for it that will go on eventually, but I'm going to kind of get some use out of these dual sports. I've already ordered a set of bars for this thing. I will probably order multiple sets of bars. The set I have coming in is more in the scrambler type uh, style. Probably end up getting some Clubman's eager to see the different bars, how it, how it makes the bike feel differently. So she has her problems. Um, one of those I need help with a little bit. I, uh, I need to ride it before I show you exactly what it is. Um, a lot of you that know these pre-76 400 series motors will already probably know what that problem is but yeah all factory for the most part minus um, some tires and those carbs so yeah go for a ride shall we all right guys I'm out in town on the KZ 400 now I've been riding for a minute, just a few minutes, so I'm going to pull in here. I'm going to show you guys what it is that I'm talking about, that I need some direction and help. Anybody that knows these motors knows that the gaskets on these heads and on these motors go south pretty quick. So. My question is to the vintage moto community. You can see here, starting to get some oil drip after she's warmed up. Uh, it's not like I can't go out with her, you know, but every three or four days I'm, I'm adding oil to it. I have an extra motor for this thing too, if, if something happens with this. And so, that's my question to you guys is, how do you approach it? What do you get? Um, do you just fill it with oil continuously? and ride it out help me out in KZ fans need some direction nice little area to come ride feels kind of nostalgic to be on these old vintage bikes in these old vintage parts of town oh yeah let me show you guys this there was something cool I saw over here the other day Somebody had done, did a, uh, a mural. I thought that was pretty cool. Something kind of nostalgic about these old kickstarts. She's actually kind of down in power right now. I gotta get those carbs tuned. I just got the carbs to stop leaking. Just having float issues. I ordered new floats for one. The other's brand new. We just I just bought a brand new M BM30 uh, Makuni BM30. It started leaking too. I'd run the tank dry. I guess it hung up. Not too curvy, a little curvy. Try to hit some kind of curve today. Gosh, man, this thing is like riding on a big friggin' air cloud compared to the Mini Moto. I'm 
not gonna push it too hard, guys. I'm, she's still a work in progress. Got a bridge spot. Yep. Been here before. Haha. <laughs> Check that out. The heavy duty spring. She's gorgeous. I love the looks of these bikes. I got those bars coming in, like I said. I'm gonna be doing some things. I gotta redo this seat, repurpose it. I think I saw them on like Amazon, eBay. The main thing being that oil. Vintage bike community, come through for me. Give me some advice. I kinda already know what should be done. New gaskets, what type of gaskets? You know, is there a stronger, more like a metal gasket? So, let me know. Okay. That's the fastest I've gotten her up to. I'm trying to get her worked in. So that's gonna be it for the KZ today. I uh, just kind of want to introduce her officially, talk about the direction I'm going with her. Love that bridge. Yeah, I'll, I'll have more coming out on this as I do things slowly to it. Like I said, it's not really an official project bike. It's not a bike I'm bringing to the table all fixed up. So, I appreciate you guys if you got to this point. To all my subscribers, thank you guys a ton. I really appreciate you. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, look who I ran into. It's my dad. Hey. Look at this old, old gas station. It's still running. My house is like right around the corner from there. She's solid. Love her.